check this out, a mount that follows you as you record. And we're going to talk about that next. It's Geekazine's coverage of NAB 2014, and it's brought to you by our friends over at Otherworld Computing, celebrating 25 years. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine at uh, geekazine.com. I'm here with Ryan over at Solo Shot, and they're coming out with a thing called Solo Shot 2. First of all, Ryan, let's talk about Solo Shot. How, how did it all start? Um, our co-founders were actually big-time surfers, and they were on a surf trip in the uh, Caribbean one year, and they said, you know, I can't get anyone to film me while I surf, and okay. said, well, there's got to be something on the market that can track you, you know, as you're doing a certain activity, and it wasn't there, and being the engineer that he is, he uh, created the product and the whole category himself. So, right. so what is Solo Shot then? Solo Shot is the world's first uh, robotic cameraman that automatically can track the subject. Okay. Um, the subject wears a uh, small transmitter okay. that, that pairs to a base unit, okay. and it'll follow you doing all your outdoor activities from field sports to action sports to auto racing to uh, horse racing. Okay. What's the range on that then? Up to 2,000 feet. Really? So you can you could go from a, a distance and really get some movement if, if you're skateboarding or surfing as they were doing? Uh, correct. So if, you, if the person actually leaves range and then comes back in range at a different point, the product will re-pick them up and retract them as well. All right, cool. So now you've got the Solo Shot 2, and we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about the differences, and we'll do that next. Of course, all this great action is brought to you by our friends over at OWC, Other World Computing. Because, you know, you can't always get a brand new Mac. You can't always get a brand new production system. So you have to upgrade what you've got. And the best part is they have the memory. They have the SSDs to actually make your computer run faster, run better in the environment that you're in. You got a brand new Mac Pro? Instead of paying for the high price for Mac memory, you can get OWC memory at a fraction of a price and get a lot more memory out of that deal. Uh, they have a lot more over at the website. You can check it out. Of course, if you're looking to buy a, a refurbished Mac or something like that, they've got stuff like that too. Stuff for your iPhone, stuff for your PC. Did you know you could put an SSD into an old PC uh, using an adapter? I didn't know that. Now I do. Check it out. Go over to geekazine.com forward slash OWC, geekazine.com forward slash OWC, and find out what they got. And then tell me your story. You want to save your Mac? Use the hashtag, save my Mac, and uh, tell me why you need memory, and uh, and we'll, we'll talk about it on air over at geekazine.com. That's over at geekazine.com forward slash OWC. All right, we're back. We were, we were talking about it, and it's like, well, what if we put my camera on a solo shot? But from what I understand is it, it needs to be outdoors at least at this point in time, correct? Correct. We're working on a number of accessories. One is an uh, indoor accessory that gives you indoor capabilities and close-range capabilities. Okay. But uh, at the moment, it's an outdoor use-only product. Okay. So basically, this pushes out to a satellite, and then this grabs it from a satellite, right? Correct. All right. And uh, does, do you guys collect that data of people using this at all? Or? Uh, no, that's all private information. We don't have any uh, data that we get back from the actual user's movements or locations. Okay. Um, that's another module that we're coming out with that will work with the solo shot, that okay. if a user wants to not only film themselves over a course or some sort of area, they yeah. can also get GPS coordinates of where they were doing or okay. um, track themselves on that. They can do that as well. Uh, so when when you expect those modules to come out? Uh, May 31st. May 31st. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about price points okay. for uh, for the Solo Shot 2. The starting price point for uh, a base unit and a transmitter like I have here is okay. 399. Okay. Um, we sell on our website as well as uh, Amazon and about 200 retailers so far around the world. Okay. And then we have a number of accessories like we talked about as well as a package deal for 649 which includes a Sony Handycam, a tripod, and a zoom controller with your solo shot. Okay. And extra extra transmitters? Uh, yeah, actually the uh, base units and the transmitters can be paired together uh, or tethered together to work multiple ones simultaneously. Okay. So those are sold individually as well. The transmitters are 149 a piece and the uh, base units are 259 a piece. And uh, when we get the indoor little device, do we have a price point on that yet? Um, yeah, we're looking in the $99 range. $99. So it's, it's really affordable to kind of pick and choose and add the capabilities to your system that you want. So somebody like me that does uh, one-man videography, uh, I could, for about $600, I could have a device that I could follow me around uh, throughout uh, wherever I go. Absolutely. 
up to two thousand. Is it up to two thousand feet on the uh, on the small indoor one, or is that a, a smaller range? Do you know? Um, that, that's going to be different. Um, for outdoor, we say fifteen to two thousand feet. The indoor range is more, like you said. So for interviews, conferences, uh, lectures, things like that. So about twenty to thirty feet. Right. Okay. Cool. All right, well, where do people go for more information? Uh, go to our website. It's www.soloshot.com, and you can see a number of our uh, products that are on the market and things that will be coming soon. Well, there you go. That is a solo shot. If you're one-man camera crew and you want to move around like me, I was, you know, duck and jab and up and down, you know, then uh, then something like solo shot is perfect for me. Jeffrey Power is at Geekazine. Uh, Think Magazine put in a geek. You can also find me over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. You guys geek out. Check it out. All the NAB action coming your way.